Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today I want to show you how to make a tin can hobo spoon. Stay tuned. In the not too distant future, if you should find yourself in a survival situation or you're just out practicing your bushcraft and survival skills and you happen to go into the woods without a spoon, uh, and I consider a spoon to be probably the most important eating utensil you can bring with you into the outdoors. But you can always, of course, carve a spoon. Uh, this is one that I made out of American Red Bud. And of course, you can always take a spoon. Uh, this is an antique spoon. It has been used to stir so much that the one side is worn down tremendously. So this is probably Civil War era or right thereafter. But anyway, as, uh, as you think about being out in the woods and you're getting ready to eat a meal, I, like many of you, do bring canned food occasionally into the outdoors. And sometimes I find that I've forgotten something. Now normally I always pack a spoon. That's one of my essential items that I always bring with me. But should you ever find yourself in a survival situation and you've got some canned food, especially if you've got cans with pop tops. So similar to this can here. Everybody knows what a pop top is. Uh, this is a, a can of potted meat. I know it's not the best food for you, but I've been eating these ever since I was a kid just occasionally don't eat them very often. But when I was a teenager, I came up with a way to eat this without a spoon. And so I wanna show you how this is done. All right, so we've got our can of, of potted meat, our pop top. Now what we wanna do, of course, is open it up like you would normally and pull the top. Now most people at this point would just throw this away. But I'm gonna show you how to use this and a better way to make a, a spoon or a scoop out of it, perhaps. So I'm going to clean this off. And uh, the best way that I know how out in the field by using the uh, old-fashioned dishwashing method that a lot of bushcrafters are familiar with. Now I do need to warn you, you got to be careful. The edge is sharp, you don't want to cut your tongue, all right? So this is something to be used as an expedient method, not something that you necessarily do all the time. Bring a spoon with you, all right? But here's something you can do. We take the tab and we bend it flat so that it is on kind of the same plane as the lid. And this becomes our handle. Then very carefully, we take and we bend each side up, just like this, okay? And you want to get it a pretty good angle until it looks like this, okay? Now we have a handle. You could put your finger down under the back of it here like this to help support it because this juncture here is a little sloppy and weak. Uh, but if again, you can pinch it between your thumb and forefinger, extending your forefinger like this. And now we have a scoop. So how well does it work? Well, as you can see, you can get in here pretty good with it. Now, before we eat any of this with it, what I wanna say is if this can is dirty on this side when you pop it off, make sure and clean this top off real good. Now this can is really clean, so I didn't worry too much about it. And when you're in a survival situation, uh, sometimes you're not quite so concerned. But if you would be in a place you'd find a really dirty, dusty old can, make sure and clean this off, wash it off, wipe it down with a cloth first. So how well does it work? Well, you just get in here and just like this. 
And the best way to eat this is using it upside down. And what I mean by that is after we've got our scoop out, I usually take it, and if it's something that's got a little bit of a stickiness to it, like this potted meat, I'll take it and go like this. And use my tongue on the inside, because I don't want to cut it on these sharp edges, this outside here. And so, very carefully, lick it. All right, but don't go away. I've got something else to show you. So how well does it work on, say, a can of Vienna sausage? Well, first of all, of course, like I said, we want to take a, a sleeve or a rag or something and make sure that the top of this is really clean because, again, it's going to be going in our mouth. So we wipe it off real good and we pop the top, open it up, got the juice in there. You can either drink it or pour it out depending on what your situation is. Again, we take this, we fold that in so it's on the same plane roughly, and then we fold it like so. Again, being careful not to cut our fingers. Here we have it. Now, so how do you get these out of here? Well, because this edge is sharp, with something like this, you could come in here and you can literally use it to just slice a piece of this out because it's really soft. <clears throat> now, once you get good at this and this can gets relatively empty down there, you can actually get in there and if you're, you're good, you can pull out an entire Vienna sausage. Almost forgot. But wait, there's more. So what if we have a can of something that's soupier? Uh, now the meat is fine because obviously it's, it's clingy, it's a little dense, it can scoop out easy, and that works well. But let's say we have some fruit. All right, so again, we now do this, we pop the top. Open it up. Now you're going to notice that some of these cans are going to bend like this. So you're going to have to straighten them back out. And of course with oranges, I mean, you've got a lot of juice in there so we have to drink that. We're not going to pour that out. Okay, so very carefully. Again, we want to make sure that this is on the same plane. And then we have to very, very gently fold this back up. Make sure that we get it back into a decent kind of a spoon or a scoop. Now, you can adjust the size of this. It doesn't have to come to a point. You can actually make a little bit of a wider opening depending on what you're doing. And then if you want to make more of a spoon, you take and you bend the back side of this up a little bit like so. So it makes a little bit more of like a dish or a bowl. And then you flatten this back out. And so we have this kind of an affair and that will actually hold a decent amount, a little bit of juice. So let's give it a try. Okay, so how well does it hold fluid? Well, let's go ahead and try it. There you go. I don't know if you can see, but it's, uh, it's actually holding it quite well. So you could use this for a soup. Not bad. Works really good. All right, now we're gonna get some of our oranges out. So again, we just go in here just like we would with a, a regular spoon. If you never tried this method, I would encourage you to give it a shot. Uh, this is a really great field expedient way to make a spoon or a scoop uh, to get your food out in case you forget to bring a spoon with you. And by the way, it's a pretty good sized spoon. It'll hold probably a lot more than you can put in your mouth. Or it'll hold probably a lot more then you should put it in your mouth at one time. <laughs> this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure to press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time. stuff all whopper jawed here while I'm wasting film. All right.
So in the not too distant future, if you should find yourself in a survival situation. <clears throat> so we're just about done. And I want to show you something. Because of the, the angle of the bend here and the point, you can... <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so we're just about done with this. And I want to show you one last tip. Because of the angle and point of this, and if the can isn't too deep, this is a pretty shallow little can, you can actually get right down inside right in the corner just like this and you can scrape out the remainder pretty effectively you can get most of the can pretty clean it goes right into the point 